It's that time again. Doing something a little different. So, um, Jimmy's working at home to take care of some stuff there. So he's going to take my broadcast here on Facebook and connect it to the hi, uh, YouTube channel. So bear with us for a moment. When you're in the room, introduce yourself. Say howdy. And I'll let you guys know what's left uh, of the Blackest uh, Friday sale items as well as items uh, on the vault. So, oh yeah, I don't like what this does. Okay, let's get that up there. There we go. All right. So, checking at the store right now, Lady Death Mischief Night, Lady Nightmare Edition is sold out. Uh, the Lady Nightmare Holiday Edition, there's still copies left. Uh, the Triptych Editions, uh, there's still a variety of all three left. So you can get that nice little uh, set together. All three of them uh, connect to make one big image. Um, the Chamber of Coffins Black and White Edition is sold out. The uh, Colored Edition for Chamber of Coffins, there's still a few copies left. Um, Treacherous Envy Black Lace Hollow Foil, that is officially sold at, uh, sold out. And also the Lady Death Gallery Naughty Violet Metallic Edition just sold out. Hey, what's up, Jimmy? How you doing? Actually, um, Jessica, we will be on YouTube. Um, Jimmy's working at home, so he's going ahead and taking this broadcast and shooting it over to YouTube. Let's see how this looks. Make sure it's nice and straight so you can see the nice Christmas stuff in the back. <laughs> oh, thank you, Mary. I appreciate that. How is everyone? How was everyone's weekend? Did you guys uh, have a good weekend? Did you enjoy uh, the food festivities and the families? Because that's always good. That's all right. We like to confuse you people from time to time. <laughs> no, it's... This is probably the only way we can pull it off today. Oh, boom. So, yeah. Jimmy just put up the link for the exclusives that are available right now. Uh, over on the vault, uh, things are selling out. There's only two pages left of items. Uh, some of the items you can still get that are available on the vault. And this stuff is available for two more hours. Two more hours, this stuff will be available. There's still the Hell Witch Golden Medal. Floating around, there is the um, Hell Witch Pinups Fatigue Commission C. Both graded copies of cosplay editions are available. Um, there is also a Don McTague uh, signature series available, 9.8 grade. Also, the Anthony Spay and John Boy Myers uh, graded mock ups for the swimsuit is available. Uh, La Muerta Spike Art is available. That is a BP copy. The uh, Monty Moore edition for swimsuit. That mock-up is still available. The Risque Hot as Hell edition mock-up is available. There's still a Hell Witch Hellborn Legend set. Um, there's still a Lady Death Killers Chase edition blue uh, done by Mark uh, Mike DeBalfo. And if I recall, I think there's like 25, 35 around that thing printed of those. There is also still a sculpted lying around. Sculpted edition for La Muerta Onslaught. For metallic cards, we got the La Muerta Sugar Skull. Uh, low number six is still available. The Skeletas, five and six are available. There's also one Michael Turner metallic card left. Number six. And then over here, the last couple of items that are available. And already a few of them have sold out uh, just before I went live. I was keeping up on this. Uh, Merciless Onslaught Blue and Greens are available. There's still the um, Apocalyptic Abyss Homage Damage Editions. Uh, one of the Masterpieces, signed Special Edition. Uh, low number five is the last one on that. Um, there's still one Evil and Naughty Two Book Set available. That's number six. The Violet uh, Sketch for La Muerta and the Crimson Set. 
And then there's also one of each left of the uh, Chase Edition Green, Gold, and Blue for the Extinction Express uh, Chase Editions. And then a Hell Witch, the Forsaken Metal Legend, low number three is available. So there's still some really great stuff on there. Things are definitely flying out. Um, thank you everyone who partook in the uh, vault sale. It's always fun to see your guys' comments and uh, posting uh, what you were looking for and what have you. I'm not going to put on my Christmas hat yet because I think it's still a little too soon. So probably probably December. I'll be wearing my, my very adorable hat. Oh, yeah! Yeah, and you know what's cool about the carbon is I found those um, in a box, and it, it, there was nothing labeled on it, and it was just a bunch of world, uh, world, rolled prints uh, from uh, that era. Um, very little Lady Death, but there was still Purgatory Lady Deaths, um, or I should say Evil Ernie, uh, and a couple others. I believe all the Lady Death ones I am out of. So all I have left is Purgatory at the moment, and for Evil Ernie Day, I am releasing a bunch of the Necro sketches for the Evil Ernie's done by Jerry Beck, and they were all signed, and they do have serial numbers. So really excited to uh, offer the last of those uh, for you folks. Um, and I got some other really cool stuff coming up on the Wednesday show where we will be celebrating the 30th anniversary of the release of Evil Ernie. So... Bravo to Brian. He made things his own and has continued to soldier on forward. And no matter how many hits he takes, he just gets right back up like Rocky Balboa and gets back in the scrap and just keeps on going. He just keeps moving forward. It's a very inspiring person to work for. Oh, good, good. I'm glad you got it. Hey, Shazam! Yeah! What's up, Christopher? How are you today? Hello, Eric Hart. How are you? My God, it's so good to see you people. Um, just so you know, um, this is being simul broadcast on YouTube right now. Uh, Jimmy's working from home, taking care of some stuff, and then he's go ahead and uh, he's linking all that stuff to YouTube right now. So it is streaming in two locations. So I got a really cool uh, batch of stuff for you guys here on the catacombs. Um, like I say, I hope everyone had a wonderful uh, four-day weekend here stateside. Yeah, I know. Isn't that great, everybody? The Sworn Fest is so close. We are so close to Sworn Fest. Let me just check my things. Uh, okay, good. I got some good time. And I'm really excited. It's, it's going to be great to see all of us together uh, and just having a good time uh, celebrating the art and the stories and all things Coffin Comics. So I can't wait to meet all of you guys in person. It's really going to be a blast. If you haven't got your tickets, they're still available. $40 for the whole weekend. And the only way you can get the comics exclusives is if you get a full weekend pass for $40. You'll get all those exclusives. Anything that is left over from those exclusives, if there's anything left... We definitely will sell it later on down the road. Um, like I say, but uh, it, it took us almost a year before we were able to sell Fiend Fest items. So um, keep your eyes open, but it's definitely fun. I think you guys should be there. For those of you who made it to Fiend Fest, it was an absolute blast. Uh, even though the weather was rainy and cold, we all had fun. And it was really cool to meet people from around the world that love all things Coffin Comics. So what I got today uh, is some more classics from the Chaos Era for all you folks. Uh, Carmen has scooped up uh, one of them already, and that is a Purgatory print that I have that I unfortunately didn't bring with me. It's actually in my office, so I'm going to hold off on grabbing that. But uh, there will be two Purgatory prints, Necro Print 1 and Necro Print 2. Necro Print 1s are signed by Al Rio. Uh, and I only have like uh, a few of those and that's it. Um, the other ones I do have a uh, good stock on. So if you, anything, uh, disappears or you see this on a later broadcast, you weren't sure if it sold out, please reach out to me at inquiries at coffincomics.com 
or uh, send me a wish list of items you are looking for, and I will do my gosh darndest to find it for you if it's in that vault. So that's what I try to do, and uh, it's fun to see a lot of people pick up the vault items that they've been looking for. It's always fun to do these type of events that are very stressful, um, but uh, the rewards and just seeing everyone's excitement is so worth the stress and hard work it is to do these. So I'm glad you guys enjoyed what I had uh, for the vault. So let's get started on some of this classic stuff. Classic stuff today. Like to this one right here, this is the uh, Purgatory Vampire Mist set. You get the prelude. You get the number one foil edition. You get issue two and you get issue three. That's four books in one package the complete story arc of Purgatory Vampire's Myth. So I got one of these sets. I wish I had more sets like this, but um, these are pretty much it. Uh, what I have left is what I have left. Next up, I have Purgatory Empire. This is the complete Empire story arc, issues one, issues two, and issue three. Complete run right here, available now on the Catacombs. <laughs> I love the classic stuff. I absolutely do. All right, next up, this is Purgatory Goddess Rising four book set. That's right, complete arc. Issues one, issue two, issue three, and of course, number four. All together, one bundled set for you today. Um. They're okay in condition. I bought this, uh, a lot of this stuff is actually my collection. I bought out uh, someone's Godzilla toys, Carmen, and uh, he also, um, for a few extra, gave me uh, two boxes full of Chaos stuff. Uh, I was bummed that there was no more action figures in it. Um, he kept those, along with some other uh, pretty cool things. Um, so, yeah, what I have, they're all pretty good shape. They're definitely uh, not near mint. Um, but they're definitely, um, some are better than others. Um, I did put notations on uh, any creases and stuff, and I'll show them to you uh, also. I also have here Purgatory Monthly. This is issues one through seven in one complete set. That's right, monthly one, monthly two, three, four, five, six, and seven, where Purgatory versus Dracula. So seven books. All right here in one beautiful set. Oh! Oh, I, I've been to the Road City show. Um, Mary, uh, I used to work for Things from Another World when I lived in Portland. So I would sometimes work their booth at the Road City shows. And there was, um, and before Wizard World came in, there was also another little show they would do uh, at the basement of the the uh, basketball stadium, or uh, I don't remember the name of it, but really fun shows. If anyone's in a chance to check out Portland, I highly recommend it. It is tons of comic book shops and a lot of fun, geeky stuff to do. And they have comic shops to, for anyone's taste. Indies, uh, major labels, you name it, great game stores. So, uh, Mary, I'm a little jealous because you got the nice weather. And, um, yeah. Rose City is a hell of a great con, so I, I miss that show. Um, next up, this is a two-book set. This is Purgatory vs. Chastity, Ending Alpha and Ending Omega. Both available right now as a set. Let's see if anyone else has. Uh, just go ahead and click on the links that we put down below, Nick, and then you can go ahead and uh, it'll take you right to the Coffee Con shop. Uh, the selection you want to find is Catacombs, and that is where you will find all the items I'm showing you today, as well as some items that are left over um, from last week's uh, two previous shows. Um, welcome to the show, Nick. Um, how we do shows here is we have uh, little links, so uh, Lady Death Universe will pull up the links. You click on that, and that'll take you right to the page on the store where you can get your shopping done. Uh, if you're looking for others, some really new, uh, cool, rare items, Nick, um, you can also find them on the vault. We are doing a vault sale, and those items will be available for another hour and 45 minutes left to get the, any items that are in the vault. After that, they go away, disappear. Um, but welcome to the show, Nick. It's nice to have you. 
Uh, no, no. We try to put everything on the site, Nick, um, and definitely. Uh, I can't, but reach out to me, Mary, and I'll see what I can do, but uh, normally I can't. Um, Matthew Davis, what's up, man? How are you? Um, yes, lots of old school today. Thanks for joining, man. I hope you guys uh, all had a wonderful Thanksgiving. All right, next up, I have Purgatory, The Dracula's Gambit, which also includes, this is a Purgatory three-book set. It also includes the Purgatory, The Dracula Gambit sketchbook, and Purgatory versus Vampirella. This is a three-book set available right now in the catacombs. All right. Now, back in the day, there were some really great battles between these two, um, especially if you're an old-school fan of the Chaos uh, era. This is Lady Death versus Purgatory. One shot, boom, with the red foil text. In this set, I also have the Untold Tales of Purgatory Number One. I have Armageddon, 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 Armageddon Four. This is the Memorial Edition cover. Now, if I recall correctly, uh, Armageddon, uh, all of the issues came with a variant cover that had uh, all the different chaos or yeah, chaos era characters on the covers. It was a really neat idea, and if I recall, I think they all connected to make one big piece. So, um, another book that is included in here is also The Untold Tales of Lady Death, number one. So, this is a four book set that consists of Untold Tales of Purgatory, Lady Death, Lady Death versus Purgatory, and Armageddon 4 Memorial Cover. No, it's only one set of each. That's all I have. So, um,. Yeah, that's pretty much all I have. I hope I answered your question, Jessica. Uh, okay, more fun stuff. How about this Chastity set I have? This is Chastity Rocked, one, two, three, and four. Complete set, available now. Today's show is a lot of all the classic uh, Chaos Era stuff. And Jessica, there's no such thing as a stupid question. Of course, of course. I never say there's stupid. There's never a stupid question, unless you're repeating the same question over and over and over again. You aren't hearing it, but then again, it could be you're hearing it bad because mine sucks too. All right, after the last couple of sets, I hear here classic. This is uh, Chastity Lust for Life, complete run with the Chastity license plate and old school Chaos Comics COA is also included in there. Yep, boom. So this set is available right now. And the last set is Chastity, Lust for Life, 1, 2, and 3, along with the Chastity license plate. That is available right now. I only have one of each of those. And now for some uh, mock-ups I have for you. This is a La Muerta Onslaught reference mock-up. Also, uh, this is so beautiful. Richard Ortiz did an amazing job. This is La Muerta Onslaught Prayers Edition. That is absolutely stunningly beautiful. This is a mock-up. And then my last presentation for you guys today is Lady Death Revelations Naughty Spellbound Hollow Foil Mock-Up Edition. Put the COA and the sticker right over there for you. And these are the fun offerings I have for you guys today. Now, Wednesday, if you're into more classic stuff, it is a ton of Evil Ernie and Lady Death stuff. We're going to celebrate the 30th anniversary of Evil Ernie on Wednesday, and it'll be a later show. So probably around 3, 4 o'clock you'll see me going live. And um, this way uh, folks on the East Coast can catch it at a, a nice time, as well as all our friends on the West Coast. And uh, try to make it so everyone can see it from all around the world. So those are the stuff I have for you today. Like I say, there's still some exclusives. Live on the store. Let me see how much time I have. Hey, Jay, what's up, man? It's good to see you. Good to see you. Oh, okay, cool. I'm glad I can answer that question. See what other questions I have. I wish I had that purgatory license plate. I wish. Hey, save it for the evil day. 
save it for the evil day. I'm always on the hunt for old chaos stuff, so when I get some, I'll bring it on here. You know, and if he's looking for something for collections, uh, Mary, go ahead and, and send your uh, questions or your list or a list of items he's looking for for his collection to inquiries at coffincomics.com. Put attention, Julian, want list. Melanie will go ahead and get that in my hands and I'll add it to my list. Um, I'm feeling a lot like Santa Claus this time of year, so I, I love trying to uh, get everyone hooked up with the items around the Christmas season. So, Hey Chris, how are you? Thank you for joining us today. How was your weekend, by the way? So Mary, that'd be a good way. Uh, send me a list of uh, what he wants or what he's looking for and uh, to inquiry, in, inquiries at coffincomics.com. I'd be more than happy to uh, reach out to him once I find anything he needs. See right there, Jimmy's so on top of it. Jimmy's so on top of it. Miss you, Jimmy. Can't wait to have you back here. Oh, sorry about that. I wish I had more of this stuff so I could do uh, more sets like this, Jason. Um, I. I it sucked when I when I brought it, sold the the collection I had, and it's like, oh, I don't have this, I don't have that. Um, I wish I had duplicates, but unfortunately, um, this is the last of my chaos items, so um, that's what I had to offer you guys. So sorry. Um, you know what? It, it, the weekend wasn't that busy. It was, it was great doing those shows for you guys. Um, sorry, like I say, it was very uh, last minute put together, and it was kind of dark. Uh, my library is dark in my home. So hopefully we'll get some more uh, better lighting up in there, uh, especially since we're going to be reading in there also. Um, I, I'm glad you like that, Jason. But like I say, if there's anything you're looking for, you know, shoot me a message, inquiries at Coffin Comics, Tension Hooligan want list, Julian want list. Let me know. I'll do my best. I, I won't promise you I'll, I'll hook it up. If I find it, I promise you I will definitely get in touch with you. So... Um, it's something I really like doing. It, it reminds me of uh, back in my days when I used to sling comics in the comic shop. All right, so I just got a couple more minutes. Thank you again, everyone, for joining me today. I really hope everyone had a very joyous weekend. I hope everyone had uh, great times with family and friends. And um, Carmen needs a want list. Carmen, I'd be scared of your want list. <laughs> I bet there's so much stuff on it. I'd be like, oh my God, help me. <laughs> so anyways, um, that's going to do it for me today. I'll see you guys Wednesday for Evil Ernie Day. Uh, check out the newest uh, Eric Mache videos that are up. I highly recommend watching them, especially if you're into the history of Evil Ernie chaos and the beginnings of all things Brian Polito dominance. Anyways, see you guys Wednesday. I'm Julian Hooligan. Thank you for joining me. I'm sworn to you. I'm out.